right, guys, we have this amazing looking balloon white Lamborghini Aventador Roadster right here. We did some mechanical work on this and we put on a set of RDB wheels, 20, 21 inch, Novatec springs to lower it, of course. It's a proper setup, no rubbing, drives great. But check out those wheels. This is the first time we've done an Aventador with the RDB wheels, actually, so I'm super excited about it. As always, use the OEM center cap. We don't like to do the advertising thing. We literally put the OEM center cap because it looks way better. Polished lip, brush center. A lot of times, obviously, again, black wheels, but this thing looks so amazing when you're driving it. A uh, set of Michelin tires on there too. Sometimes used Pirelli, sometimes Michelin. But in this one we went ahead, we used the Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. Super happy with the white on the polished look. It's great. And the interior is white and black too. So really, really awesome, refreshing take on an Aventador. What's up guys, so um, we're gonna go get a Christmas tree. I'm trying to surprise them with a Christmas tree. Christmas is coming, so yeah, we're gonna go get a Christmas tree, so we're gonna surprise them. It's 85. 85? Yeah. What about that one? 85? Yeah, but this is smaller than that one. No, it's a big one. Can you get for 100? Right. You'll be cash on it, okay? Huh? Very fresh, very fresh. Yes, 400, very fresh. Okay. Where is the car? Right there, the van. Andrew, come on. How much was it? 100. Okay. But we're gonna build big 250 bucks. The shoe was $100, but I'm gonna charge a big 250 bucks. I will film the Christmas shoe was like 250 bucks. I give him $30 tip and $20 <laughs> for a car wash. Yeah, that's a smart idea for a car wash. Okay, so guys, so no one's in the office, so we're just gonna put this tree. Cameraman, you wanna help me? Oh, nice. We got a Christmas shoe. That's a really nice tree. Yeah. I paid 250 yeah. bucks. You didn't pay 250 bucks, man. I did. I'm going to put this is next Christmas. <laughs> is there an invoice on it? So, because you're a boss, you didn't buy a Christmas shoe for the employees, so I decided to buy a Christmas shoe. This Christmas shoe is not $250, man. It is. It's noble. Why is it a $35 tip? Because the guy was going to put it in the car, so I, I couldn't do it. So. Why is there a car wash? Because what car did you take? The van. My van. Still, it's dirt inside. You have to take it to a car wash. Oh my god. And gas? It's five miles. One gallon is four twenty. <laughs> you want to decorate it? Sure. <laughs> but what is my money? Finally, my Urus. We wrapped it. This is the color right here. Satin chrome silver from Hexus. Normally we get chrome, 
we laminate it and then use it. But uh, Hexus over here has it already pre-made. So they just send us the material that's already laminated on top of their chrome base. I like their satin chrome the most because um, it's got the perfect uh, balance between the chrome and the silver. I didn't want it to be that too much of that chrome characteristics, but I wanted during sunset for those chrome features to show more and pop. Obviously the Urus with the wide body has a million lines all over the place. We wanted to exaggerate that. That's why the last wrap, I had that brush laminate over it. The brush really showed it. This really shows it. I'm liking it so far. It takes some time to get used to it because it is a little bit uh, extreme. Certain lighting, it looks amazing. Certain lighting, it looks silver. I think it looks best during sunset time and at night, it just looks like a completely different animal. Everything else is the same on this car. We haven't changed anything else. The wheels are still silver and black. Um, I don't know which side I like better with this color. You guys let me know you like the silver side or the black side. I am getting new wheels for it. The RDB wheels, our signature design. It should be ready in about two weeks. Once that comes in, we're gonna throw that on. I went in and I uh, wrapped the front lip, the lower lip this time in the material so we just get that wider appearance in the front. I'm really happy with that. We wrapped this car when it was really cold out here in LA. This material needs a lot of post heating. So there are some areas that I'm not happy with. It didn't lay exactly how we would want it. So we're gonna be redoing some of those parts. Texas was uh, cool enough to send us another roll. So we're gonna be doing some other work additional. So there are some flaws with this, unfortunately. So with this material, it's thicker. Uh, you can't really stretch it. When you stretch it, you burn the material. Um, there's a lot of little things. So this is one of the toughest wraps to do out there. It's not an amateur wrap. It's not something you can go and stretch and easily heat up. This thing takes a lot of time and work in the right environment. It has to be a little bit hotter. Also with the chrome material, it's not wide enough to fit on certain areas. On this car, it pretty much fits everywhere except the hood. But if you guys saw my last wrap with the brush they also don't make that wide enough so we were having to put a line in the middle on this material also we have to do the same thing but instead of putting the line in the middle we put on the edges of the hood and it's a little less obvious there because now this front end was super clean with no line there i think it looks badass that's one of the drawbacks when you do a special material like the chromes they just don't make them wide enough to go on certain areas of the cars but man i don't know if you guys catch the lighting it looks it looks like aluminum which is really really what i wanted i don't know how long i'm gonna keep it we'll see i have another color in mind already which is crazy maybe in the next like month or two but it's been a wild time at rdb this year we had a lot of wraps to catch up to before we got to my car so we kind of rushed this thing thanks for watching again we're gonna head back to the shop and finish up You guys can take it, so yeah, you guys can take a picture. You guys can ask for something what you guys want. What's up? What's your name? Uh, Ryan Larkin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, so what do you want this year, honestly? Something that you really, that, something you've wanted all year long. That like, that'll make you happy. Uh, probably you a new monitor, you know? A new monitor? Yeah. Does it matter if they're broken? Or <laughs> yeah, we've had a lot of broken monitors. That's for sure. <laughs> Do you watch any of our videos, by the way? I watch, I follow you guys on Instagram, and like, I go back and forth, and I always like, see the videos on it, or YouTube, you guys hanging out, and driving the cars around, and all that stuff. Nice. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, the most awkward. <laughs> <laughs> most awkward ever. It's so awkward. It's so awkward. What does have to say? Ho, ho, ho. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. 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 let us Sometimes. So I, I heard you love cars. You like cars. And I heard you love BMWs. Sometimes. Sometimes. Let me see. <laughs> I got something for you. 
I got you a gift. Close your eyes. Uh -huh. Put your hand out. Uh -huh. This is your gift for the year. Uh -huh. This is something that you've liked, I've been told. Okay. So, open your eyes. Nice. There you go. Where is the car? The car's, <clears throat> the car's outside, it's parked. We brought it for you special, mm -hmm. and it's it's your favorite car. Is it for like a one day or for a lifetime? It's your car. It's your car, you do whatever you want with it. So, I heard this is something that you would like. Um, just needs a little bit of repairs. Nothing this much. This is not the key. That is the key. That is the key. Try it. Press the button. So it's just like how many times? Well, uh, they have sometimes the, bad, the battery might be a little bad, but it's fine. Maybe it's a battery issue. But do you like the car? I mean, is this what you wanted all year long? I was told. What do you think? Awesome. What would you prefer instead of this? What would you want? Vix Lambo. Vix Lamborghini. Yeah. Well, continue to be a big boy, and maybe next year. I'll what, about you the, what about if we steal the big slammer? That's between you and Vic. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Santa Claus isn't. Uh, I can't can you, rate you guys on what you guys want to do. Can you make some magic? Just change the paperwork. Vic's uh, car under your name. Yes. And then what's Vic gonna drive? He can drive this. I think this is too much for Vic. <laughs> <laughs> this is too beautiful. <laughs>